Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and today's Photoshop tutorial actually comes from a comment request and they wanted me to see if I could make something like this example that they linked here and I thought I'd show you guys how to create this swirly liquidy pattern because it's pretty simple and maybe you can use it on some projects of your own. So open up whatever size document or project that you're working on and the first thing you want to do is make sure you click this button here to reset your colors to the default black and white. Now create a new layer, so layer, new layer on whatever project you're working on just to be safe and then go to filter, render, clouds. So you should get the generic Photoshop black and white clouds since you had your black and white colors. Now the next thing you want to do is go to filter and choose liquify. Now here's where you're going to get that swirly mess. So I'm using the bracket keys on my keyboard to adjust the size of the brush but you can do that on your own. And I'll just keep it at a density of 50 and a pressure of 100, but you can play around with those settings as well. The Liquify tool has all types of different options for swirling blending images, but I'm just going to stick with my default pointer warp tool and just start swirling around like crazy. Now don't worry if some stuff starts to get in the edges. You see it starts to become transparent because I pulled the image in the edges. I'll show you how to fix that after we're done swirling. So. That looks pretty blended together. Now you just want to take any parts that are transparent and pull them towards the edge a little bit so that they fill out. So just stretch those edges back out to the edge of the canvas like so. And then if you want as a final touch, if you press reconstruct, you could choose a amount of reconstruction. So you could pull your slider to maybe something like 90% so it doesn't look so pulled together and it looks more liquidy and press OK. So once you're done swirling press OK in the menu and you should have this liquidy warped mess and then you can apply some fun and psychedelic type of colors onto it by going to layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map, OK, press OK and then you can s click on your default black and white gradient map and select different colors of your own. So let's say I want to do like a bright blue and then a purplish color as well. So a purplish pink color. So that looks pretty cool I think and you could play around with all type of different gradients if you want. Press OK. Now if you're working on a big project you could go to layer create clipping mask to make sure that the gradient map only affects the swirly layer and not everything else. But you could take it from here wherever you like. So hopefully that answered the original comments question and everyone else found some useful tips in this tutorial as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out my channel and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time.